Okay, this is going to be just the basics of Macromedia Flash animation. Um, the first step is to create a simple drawing on our first keyframe up here. Um, I'm going to just draw a little head um, and then maybe a line. Probably should use a color other than light gray, but we'll deal with that. Okay, so I've got this little guy here. And if I double click and then shift click to get that piece, I can actually go in and change my color to make him darker. All right, so now I've got this little guy here and I want to add some frames. And if I go up here and I do F6, that adds keyframes. And I'm just going to go ahead and add about, oh, 10 frames. Um, now what I'd like to be able to do is like if I go back here to frame two, I would like to change his hands a little bit. <laughs> Not really hands, but anyway. So I'm going ahead and I'm drawing like that. In fact, you could grab in the middle and have him even bow a little bit. So now if I go from one to that, back and forth, you can see that he animates. Now, if I want to go to the next frame, but I can't remember what the, the frame before it did, I can click up here on, there's a, a tool called Onion Skin. All right, now right here it goes out way too many frames. I just kind of want it to be, you know, maybe a couple frames from where I am. So I can see where he was before, where I am now, and maybe I want it to go one beyond. Okay, so now maybe I want him to go out a little bit. I'm still on this frame here. And I'll do this and drag that a little bit and back like this, move one more frame over and I don't know and basically what that does when I go to play it is he moves. I know obviously you can get a lot more tricky with this but I'm going to go ahead and remove these frames and now I'm going to get to another type of animation, and that is called a tween. All right, so let me make sure I have a tool up here. I'm going to keyframe. Let's say I'll start with a circle. In this case, I'm going to fill it with a color like green. Go out here about 10 frames, and maybe now I want my circle to be red. Got about 10 more frames. Maybe I want my circle to be blue. All right, and if I go out another 10 frames and I want my circle to be green again. All right, so it should be similar to the first frame. Anyway, if I was to just test this now, it goes green, red, blue, green, red, blue. Kind of boring. However, if I was to select all of these keyframes like this, and then go down here where it says tween and choose shape even though it's not a shape you'll see we get a kind of a neater effect okay now the other thing that's cool is if I was to go to say frame 10 now use my arrow tool and stretch things out a bit and then go to maybe this frame and have things be, well, that's kind of moved, but th we'll see what happens. Stretch it a little bit this way and turn off my onion skin. Now when I play it, you get this kind of real, you know, natural effect. Um, anyway, that's a, the basics of two different types of animation, um, and that should be a good start just kind of experiment. I recommend doing things on different layers. For example, if I wanted to you know, have another tween up here, that way it, it, it doesn't get involved with each other, it doesn't cause problems. Um, anyway, enjoy.